All right, we're at the oven here, Nike Golf. We've got uh, Dave Franklin, and we've done some videos on Nike Method putter, Nike Method drone putter. Method core drone. Method yeah. core drone. Yeah, we, we knew we were going to slip up on that, and I'm glad I did it instead of you. I'll take the heat on that one. But now we've got concept. So uh, tell us a little bit about what's going into this putter that's going to, you know, really get the buzz going. Well, I think it's got its own buzz going because of the look. It's very, very unique. Uh, and one thing we say, it's kind of polarizing. Some people, you either love it or hate it. It's one of those deals. But innovation never looks like you've ever seen before. I mean, it's always going to look different than anything out there. So uh, what we've done with this is we wanted to take a mid-size mallet footprint and maximize the performance. So how do you do that? Well, you want to get the weight as deep in the CG as possible or get the CG as deep into the putter as possible. So with this putter, a lot like the drone, we've manipulated the, the components to get the densities that we want. So if I gave you the face half of this putter, you would say that's extremely light. Mm -hmm. Very. All right. Yep. What that is is anodized aluminum. It's a machined piece of aluminum that has the method core insert, which has the polymetal groove technology in it, just like and all the milled methods. face. It's milled on the insert, exactly, mm -hmm. and then milled to it's placed into the putter face flush with the rest of the body. So you can see the mill marks on mm -hmm. both faces. Both, both pieces are mi machined exactly. Sure. And you can see that on the faces. And so what we've done is you've got about 100 grams in your hand. And so the back half of this has to take the, up the balance of the putter weight. Oh, night and day difference. Right. Yeah, big. So you've got 250 grams there. So you have about a 350 gram putter head in a, in a package the size of a mid-size mallet. And so what that does you're going to get the, the CG very deep in the putter. And if you look at a putter that has a deep CG like that, a lot of people decelerate through the ball. Well, we have a physicist that comes out and does some testing for us, and he found that a putter that has a little more back weight seems to not have as much twitch or what we would call yip, <laughs> what we call a yip factor. But uh, so what this does, if you have the weight back, naturally that weight wants to get through the ball. So you wouldn't want to plumb bob with this putter in this orientation uh, because this back weight is going to try to push that putter through impact. Mm, okay. So less deceleration, less manipulation of, of speed through the stroke. You stay a little more, more smooth through the stroke with a putter that's weighted like this. And um, there was another something I wanted to tell you about. Well, that's okay while, you were, <laughs> while you're thinking about that because I've got a, uh, a comment and a, and a question, and I okay. guess I'll make the comment. When you said you you know you either love it or hate it, mm -hmm. I think golfers are so fickle that they look at something that's different, odd, unique, however you want to put it, and go, oh, I hate that. But you start mm -hmm. making a few putts, and it's like I hate that, I hate that. Wow, I love that, I love that. Right. And, you know, and and when we're we're fickle that way. We don't like to change. We don't like anything different, especially guys that have played the game as long as I have. But the question I have with mm -hmm. this piece being so heavy and being what I would almost question, is it adjustable? In other words, what if I wanted this even heavier uh, because right. I was going shorter or longer or doing something right. different? Is there going to be some adjustability where you'll actually, if this is a 350, what if I want it 370 or mm -hmm. 390? or 400 mm -hmm. uh, because I'm going belly or, or uh, uh, broomstick length. Right, exactly. Uh, just like the drone, the Method Core drone, uh, the Optimast piece in the middle adjusts the weight for the different putters. This putter will be much the same. This bar will be different on a belly putter as it is on a regular putter. We'll have a 350, 365 for the shorter, you know, 32, 33 inch putters. And then we'll have the 390 which is the belly weight putter head, mm -hmm. and it's just in this bar. So right. the weight of the front stays the same. Sure. So the beauty of that is you keep the face in that area super light, and so you can make the back even more heavier uh, relationship-wise, driving the CG even that much deeper on the putters that are like the belly putter. So uh, and the it only still thing has is the well, MOI effect to it too, because I oh, noticed absolutely. that the toe really likes to release or square up through the hitting area. Right. It's, it's a face balance putter, for one thing, which is going to help a lot of people if they want to be a little more straight back and straight through. And how we achieve that and keep the deep CG is you see this little dog leg look here in the heel. It's part of the signature look of this putter. And what that's doing is keeping the weight deep in the putter and still allowing us to face balance it. So you get a nice smooth stroke through. But one thing I wanted to mention earlier when we talked about this weight, uh, we do have different weights, but they're not adjustable by the consumer. 
Okay. So you're so, you're going to be fitted. I say you. A consumer would be fitted and order the putter preset right. in that weight. It's right. not one of those that I buy the putter at uh, one weight and then I can turn around and order another piece if I decide I want to shorten it no. or lengthen it and put it in. No, it looks like you might be able to. And, uh, we don't want consumers to, to try to do that. They'll ruin their putter if they do. Don't, we've purpose, purposely have a special tool to insert these Screws. Yeah, I noticed that it didn't look like any other wrench. It's not I've something ever seen. <laughs> you can't go to Home Depot and buy a wrench to take it apart. So, and we did that on purpose because we don't want consumers to take it apart. If you do, you'll probably ruin your putter. You'll never get it, get it back together right because this piece has to be mounted on it exactly right so that your putter sits right. And if you take it off and try to put it back on, it's probably not going to go back to its original position. Okay, good to know. Uh, we know that there'll be a few guys on our site that will take it apart. Uh, it's just <laughs> the type, anyway, yeah, <laughs> and they'll, they'll have to, they'll whine and moan about, uh, I can't get it back together. Suck it up, guys, you're going to have to buy another putter. That's yeah. all there is to it. I'm, and uh, when they come out in March, uh, is that? Actually, these will be February, mid-February. Mid-February, February okay. 17th. So, well, by, by the 1st of March, you'll be buying a second putter because you screwed the first one up, taking it apart. <laughs> Dave said, you can't take it apart. He's the guy that built the putter. Believe him. You yeah, can't take it don't apart. Don't take it apart. <laughs> <laughs> but it lines up very nicely. You see we have this red contrasting face and the blacked out back bar. So even though it's, it's a unique look, if you look at it here, you've got an easy to line up face and a very parallel body through here to line up to the ball. And yeah, it almost looks like you're looking at a, at a blade type putter to some degree by looking at that, uh, exactly. uh, is that a crimson or cardinal color or uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, we just call it red anodized. <laughs> okay, Stanford red. <laughs> could be, <Yeah. laughs> or I guess you could call it victory red, that, but it's uh, just, it's an anodized red and, and black, just a nice contrast, okay. just a good look to give you. We want the top line and we want that area of the putter to pop. We want you to see it and define it. And you can almost fool yourself into thinking this is a blade putter. But you're going to get the performance of a mallet that has a face balance effect. And it's going to roll the ball over just like any other method technology. You've got the poly metal grooves that are going to turn the ball over for you. All right. Well, we're having a little fun here and, and <laughs> uh, kind of taking jabs at our members that, are, that like to uh, take things apart. And they're probably the one the kid that took the toaster apart or, you know, the TV remote I or something. That. and. Uh, uh, <laughs> down the road, there may be an engineer, but we appreciate, again, you taking the time, giving us a little insight on a uh, new Nike product as well as uh, some of the concepts that went into designing this and, and then some of the players that put it right in the bag because they right. believe it. We had a lot of success uh, with the original methods and the method cores and then the method drones, Suzanne Peterson winning with it, and we think we'll probably do the same with this. Super. All right, Dave, well, take care, and uh, we'll look for... Um, some of the guys on our site who don't take it apart and ruin it, <laughs> that uh, putt well with it and do a positive review for you in the next couple of it's months. It's very solid. That's one thing you'll find. It may be an aluminum face, and when you see an aluminum face putter, you think it's going to have a kind of a hollow sound. This is very solid for an aluminum face putter. So give it a try, and uh, don't judge it just at first glance. Hit a few putts with it, and then make a judgment call. Super. All right. Appreciate it. Thank no you. Problem.